Can you believe that millionaires pay less tax than you, but keep getting richer and you don't? If you could implement these strategies into your own life, one, I think you'll get rich quicker, and two, I think you'll be prepared when you get there. I want to bring you into the inner circle. So hit the subscribe button and get access to the information that could literally change your life. Most people don't understand the difference between net worth and income. I know you think you know the difference, but it needs to be the focus of your attention, and here's why. So let's say you make 50K a year. That's your income. That's the money that you talk about with your family at the Christmas table. But then there's also net worth, and that's the real heavyweight. That's the total amount of everything you own minus what you owe. So if your house is worth $100,000 and you've got $20,000 of student loan debt, your net worth is $80,000. Most people get caught up chasing a higher income. Meanwhile, they're living above their means, spending more than they have coming in. But they're not focusing on the true measure of wealth, which is net worth. So what do you do? You shift focus. It's not about how much you make. It's about how much you can keep and grow. You're not focusing on earning, you're focusing on growing generational wealth. Think of ways you can grow your net worth. That's the secret they don't teach you at school. And that shift in mentality can take you from just playing the game to becoming a millionaire and winning the game. Now, understanding net worth is fundamental to the lesson we talk about at the end of the video, because it lays the foundation for the most important part. The quicker you realize this, the better. We always tend to think the government is working against us, but this isn't always true. There are actually ways you can take advantage. So you've got your hard-earned cash, but where do you put it? Well, the government are like puppet masters and they can determine who benefits from what. And obviously they're gonna to try to benefit their own. And they do this by tax breaks, credits, and incentives. And so what they'll do is they'll push certain types of investments like real estate or green energy. Why do you think you see so many Teslas driving around? It's because there's a massive tax incentive to buy a Tesla as a business owner. Business owners are actually paying 50% less for their Tesla than the everyday person would. And they're spending that money before it gets taxed, unlike the everyday person who spends money that has already been taxed. If there are benefits to buying a house, buy a house. If there are benefits to starting a business, start a business. If there are benefits for buying a Tesla, buy a Tesla. So while the value of the property goes up and while the business grows, you're growing your wealth and you're doing it with the help of the government. The next one I think everyone thinks they understand, but they're not maximizing its potential. My favorite thing about growing my business is that I get to spend more money. And that's the opposite of what the non-wealthy believe to be true. It seems like the sooner we can understand that spending more doesn't mean making less, the sooner we'll all become millionaires. So the typical way it goes is that you make your money and then a year later you get hit with this shocking moment where you have to pay a massive tax bill. And for most people, it's terrible to watch that money get taken away from you. You've kind of claimed ownership of it throughout that year. If you can understand how your actions and the money you spend impact your business, you can make a lot more of your cash out tax deductible. For example, I go to the barber every two weeks. This is way more than I used to. I used to go every six months or something. But I do it because I know that that expense is business deductible for me. So you might be wondering, how is that tax deductible? Well, in my line of work, being a content creator, being on camera, I have to keep up a certain level of appearance. And that is enough justification to be able to go to the barber and use that expense as a tax deductible expense because I'm trying to maintain my image as it's fundamental to how my business operates. And you'll be shocked at how much you can put down as a business expense. All you've got to do is take some time, sit down and talk to your accountant. Now we've led up to this final point and it's the most important so far. Let's say you make a million dollars a year. Your goal should be to get rid of $930,000 of it. Why? Well, it's so you can fall into the 12% tax bracket. And that's exactly what millionaires do because they understand it's not about income, it's about net worth. And it's the worst nightmare that anyone can imagine in business is that tax season bill that comes through. And if you're doing well, your business has grown and you've actually fallen into the higher tax bracket. Now, all of a sudden you're liable to pay more tax than you expected. So what millionaires are doing is they're managing their tax bracket. That means they max out their retirement contributions. They invest in tax deductible opportunities like we talked about earlier. And they'll even spin up new companies to have income go through a different company and have outgoings in that company tax deductible. They're pulling out every stop to get as many tax incentives and benefits as possible 
and they're maxing out every opportunity. It's about making money the smart way, not making it hard for yourself. And this is exactly how millionaires operate. Yes, they make more, but they're very deliberate about their position in that tax bracket scale. They're putting all of their attention and energy at reducing that tax bracket. And that's exactly how they are paying less tax than even you and me. The topics I'm discussing on this channel will provide you with limitless opportunities. So subscribe and put the notification bell on to be notified when my next video comes out. Stay emotionless. I'll see you in the next one.